So you're supposed to be able to roast the other side and then the other side gets up and they roast you and everybody shakes hands and, you know, they say cheers because it's all in the name of charity. But apparently Kamala wasn't doing it because it was a Catholic charity. I mean, they gave some excuse about her campaigning in Timbuktu, but I'm telling you, Timbuktu's not voting for you, Kamala. We just saw the latest out of Michigan. We're seeing the latest out of Wisconsin. We're seeing the latest out of Pennsylvania. And I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. I've seen the latest out of Poly Market. Presidential winner elected, expected to be elected would be Donald Trump. We're looking at a 60, not even 40 split here. All right, so this is real money on the line. People are like, there's no way she's winning. There's no way she's winning when she can't even bother to show up at like the biggest political event that's bipartisan. And Donald Trump takes center stage so much so that what were they talking about over on CNN? Well, you had one guy who despises Trump, like with every single cell in his being, despises Donald Trump, has written a book about how much he despises Donald Trump. Anyway, he gets on TV and he's praising Donald Trump. I mean, Kamala, you missed out, lady. I insult her. What did you make of this performance? Oh, no, don't ask me first. <laughs> I thought he was funny. I thought he actually got a few great jokes in. I thought the best moment was we talked about the assassination attempts and made light of what he's experienced because I think he's experiencing real trauma, real PTSD as a result of the shootings, but he's still able to have a, a light moment in, in, in this room. And he took advantage of the fact that Kamala Harris wasn't there. Which is really the subtext that he of kept, this whole thing. Exactly. That, that she They're usually supposed that. to be in the same room. Yeah, in the same room. That would be the idea, you know, at these charity events that are bipartisan, in the name of charity. So Kamala, you blew it. Kamala absolutely, positively blew it again, ladies and gentlemen.